Hey guys, um, this morning I woke up with a really bad hangover. A vulnerability hangover, that is, okay? So, I don't know how many of you know Brene Brown. I absolutely adore her. She has really brought this concept of vulnerability being uh, a measure of courage out into the public and um, addressing the topic of shame, which is something, of course, people are afraid of. And she's really brought it to light with her data, with her storytelling, with the things that she's witnessed in real life. And she's really done quite an amazing job of uh, shifting the culture to accepting this as something that we need to talk about and something to address. So yesterday I um, was very vulnerable. I launched my next phase of my company into the world, this network, Lighthouse Haven Network, as well as my upcoming membership program called Actively Awake. And this has been rumbling for a long time. It's been in my brain, it's been in my heart, and I knew I was headed in this direction. And I just wanted to put it all on the table. Um, but fear has kept me back. Fear of being judged, fear of being exposed. All of a sudden, you're in this much of a, of a world that, you know, this box that you live in, and then you put yourself out there online for YouTube and whatnot, and it, it, suddenly the world is so much bigger and so many more people can have a say on what you do. So, to be honest, that has, that has stopped me for a while. But uh, I went out full with it yesterday. And I felt great about it, such wonderful support. I felt like this was the right time and everything was just falling into place. And this morning I'm like, oh wow, you can't unring the bell now, girl, like you're in it. And part of me said, what have I done? What have I taken on here? Um, I'm gonna be making a lot of these videos. I'm gonna be talking about personal stories of my own. I'm gonna be asking other people to be really vulnerable with me in their storytelling as well on this channel. And I just realized if I can ask other people to come on here and tell their very personal, deeply touching stories, I need to be willing to do that too. And when you think about the things in life that are worthwhile, that are the most wonderful things that could happen, how many of them require courage and require risk? So I kind of brought myself back down to this place of like, yes, it's going to be scary. And if you want to keep going with this, if you want more to come from this, if you want to get bigger in terms of your reach, you have to be okay with it. And don't forget to keep jumping off cliffs. It's not just one cliff. It's another after another after another. If you want to live a life different than anything you ever have before, it's worth it. So I'm using this community as inspiration to help inspire me as well to keep showing up every single day and doing the work because what I've learned is that when one person tells their truth, countless other people will resonate and see themselves in it too. And that's how healing happens. And realize that when you're going through an awakening process, your intuition, your guidance is going to ask you to do things that you've never done before. It's going to ask you to go places that are kind of scary. And I believe that it's worth it. The risk of that is, is not as big of, as the risk of not doing it. I hope that makes sense. There's something within you, there's something within me that's meant to be shared, that's meant to be uh, celebrated and put out there. So in my heart, I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to keep on, <sighs> keep on jumping off those cliffs. And just remember that vulnerability is a gift. So don't shy away from it. Keep yourself grounded, keep yourself hydrated, <laughs> and just keep yourself propelling forward instead of holding yourself back from fear. So I look forward to chatting with you more about this. I wanna know what experiences you've had in terms of has uh, that sense of vulnerability made you stop and not go as far as you could go, or what kind of magic came from a situation where you did let go and you did put yourself out there. I'm here to support you. I can't wait to hear from you.